Hi my beautiful beauties! Welcome back to my channel. So I'm your girl Jasmine and today I have another tutorial. It was highly requested by my last video and it's using a new palette of mine which is from Zoeva called Love is a Story and I really love the palette and I enjoyed doing this tutorial so if you guys want to learn then just keep on watching. The first thing we want to do is go ahead and prime our eyes and I'm going to be using Benefit Stay Don't Stray and it's a little mini sample but I really love how pigmented it makes your eye eyeshadows look so that's why I've been loving it so much. And now taking out this beautiful palette, I'm going to take the color Over You and I'm just going to be applying this in my crease, blending it out with a Sigma E40 as always. Now grabbing the color Ladylike and I was grabbing it with this brush but I really was not liking how it was turning out. So obviously I had to turn it over to my Sigma E60 which is like my obsession to apply any eyeshadow if you guys already don't know that. And just packing this all over my entire eyelid all the way up into my crease. Then taking my blending brush again, I'm just going to go ahead and do little windshield wiper motions and little circular motions as well to blend out the eyeshadow. Now taking Man With A Plan, I am going to be applying this on the outer part of my eye creating this V shape and using this new brush by Soeva which I will be using a lot of new brushes right now for this tutorial so i really been loving them. Then taking a Zoeva 230 brush, I am also going to apply it on my lower lash line. Now taking the shadow called Little Kiss, I'm just going to be popping this in the center, or not the center, but the inner corners of my eyes. And then um, before I do my brow highlight, I'm going to go ahead and do my brows, which I will have the link down below of my full tutorial of it. And now for my brow highlight, I'm going to take the color Film Star and just pop that right under our brow bone. And also don't forget to blend one more time. Then you could go back and reapply any of the eyeshadows to intensify the look. I always like to do this part. I mean, it's just optional, but it's all up to you guys. Now for my eyeliner tutorial, I will have that also in the description box, that way you guys can learn how to do it, and as well as my eyelash tutorial, and the ones that I'm using today are from House of Lashes, and they are becoming my little new obsession now, I'm not going to lie. And then while we wait for the glue to dry, I'm going to go ahead and apply some eyeliner to my tight line. And then now moving on to our face, I'm going to begin by priming it with my Benefit Professional, and of course, like always, I am going to be applying this with my fingers. Now for foundation, I had to go back with my EX1 foundation. I am obsessed with this like foundation. It's like my holy grail foundation. And I don't know, I just really, really love it. I love the finish and I just love how it just makes my skin look. So I just had to go back to it. And of course, I'm using my Sigma F80 to apply this. Now for concealer, I'm going to be using my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in the shade MW20 and applying this with a Zoeva 142 brush. But of course, like always, I'm only going to apply it with the brush and then after that, I will go back in there and like blend it with my fingers because that's just what I like to do to feel like that I did do a good job of blending it out, you know? But another great option is using a beauty blender. Alright, so once that has been blended out, we're going to go ahead and put on our bronzer. And this is the Too Faced Chocolate Bronzer, which I just want to eat it. <laughs> but, oh my god, you guys, this brush, the Zoeva 128, like, oh my god, this is my first immediate reaction. Holy shit. Like, it's such an amazing brush. Like, I have no idea what I've been doing without it. And I highly recommend it to anyone. It's so amazing to contour and at the same time just bronze up your face. Like it's it's amazing, you guys. And of course, you want to bronze up the hollows of your cheeks, all over on your forehead, your jawline, but the nose is always optional. For blush, I'm going to be taking Becca's Dancy Fly and I'm just going to be popping this on the apples of my cheeks with my Sigma F10 brush, like always. 
And then to set my whole concealer and foundation, I'm going to be taking out my Rimmel Stay Matte Press Powder. Like this is the only press powder I use, you guys, Not like no joke. And of course, applying this with my favorite brush to set this with the Sigma F25. And now I am going to go by with this fast, but you want to go ahead and blend out all of it with a buffing brush or a stippling brush, whatever you prefer. And I feel like this is a must, you guys. Like, after you guys are done with your face, I feel like you guys have to go back in there with a pencil brush and retouch your lower lash line. And then apply your mascara. I don't know, I just feel like this is a really must-have, so that's what I always do. Now for my lips, I'm going to be using MAC Kinda Sexy and on top of that, I'm going to top it off with my favorite new lip gloss at the moment which is from Gerard Cosmetics called Shimmer of Hope which is such a beautiful, beautiful nude and I'm just obsessed with it. A lot of you were asking me what was on my lips in my last video and this is it. This little combination is like perfection. Well anyways, once you guys are done with that, you guys are all done with this tutorial. Thank you guys so much for watching and like always, if you enjoyed the tutorial, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up and if you're not subscribed, don't forget to click the subscribe button down below and I love you guys so much and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!